Hey, how's it going, everybody? Deviant Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of the Tabarabamakra. So, anyways, I am hanging out near my wheat field and or crop field to show you um, that some of these crops are done. So, if we go to the harvest ready mode, we'll go over here. And we'll see that these are green, 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 but red and red and red. So, these guys are not quite ready, but these three are. Now remember, I told you how the the nutrients, there's the A, B, and C nutrients, and this one, as you can see, um, let's see, I think it's A, B, and C. Pretty sure that's how it is. So C is completely drained. You know what? Let's see. Yeah, I think, let's see. If I look north, and I'm looking at this, yeah, A, B, and C, that makes sense. So C is completely drained out of these, but they should still grow fine. A is completely drained out of these, uh, and this one, and C, and C, and B. <laughs> this is the only one that I have that requires B. But um, I should be taking notes of this somehow. Not quite sure how I'll do that. Let's see. Straw. Yeah. We'll find out a way of doing it. But let's see. Since these three are ready to harvest, let's go ahead and... I don't think harvesting with the hoe makes it harvest more. I got three carrots. I don't think so. Do I saw a magnet mode on? No. I guess I'm just close enough. And then we got the beans here. So, let's go ahead and turn this into some seeds. Turn one of these into some seeds. And because we had two of them, I'm actually going to do two and then turn one of you into some seeds. So that way I have food and I also have doubled pretty much my production here. Now, um, green beans was this one. Let's go back to nutrients. So green beans needs B and the other two need C. So this one hasn't been touched at all. So we'll just, See harvest two. Uh, actually, I guess I didn't need that. Uh, let's see, green beans, garlic here and here, um, carrots here and here. Green beans can be placed here, 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 and here, and that should be fine. This one will definitely be fine. But yeah, it's uh, interesting. I don't think these are ready, not yet. So sweet, I got some food, I got some more plants. I'm going to uh, check on my uh, cooker thing over here. So it's still cooking away. So I'm just gonna leave that be. Now let's start on some food prep. So I'm gonna take this and this, um, that and I need my knife which is over here why won't you pick up the knife there we go alright so let's put our food prep out here for whatever mysterious reason um, right click it with the uh, sword or the knife with some bowls and let's try and create a meal with some carrots and beans and some garlic and, a, and some cooked meat. There we go, so I got a meal, which wasn't very fulfilling. All right, let's try another one. Let's try meat and garlic and carrots and onions. Ugh, come on, get over here. And, on, there we go, onions. A little bit more efficient, actually. Um, so let's see, and this actually has a speed boost, so good to know so um, like I said meals are dependent on seed so these meals that I just made will have different effects or not even be cookable if you do it um, on your let's play unless you have the exact same seed I do oh I forgot I had bell peppers here um, pretty sure I planted some so let's go ahead and cook another meal here with some red bell peppers some green beans and some cooked pork chop and just a normal meal. Um, 
but this one actually has more energy. This one has barely any energy. All right, so we were able to cook some meals. I'm gonna leave that bowl up there. Now, another cool thing to know about meals, don't think I can cook that, no I can't, um, is, let's grab one of you, and you. So if you have your, ah shoot, go in there, there we go. So if you have your fireplace and you put some meals in your fireplace, so let's go ahead and put the one that has a little bit more energy, less filling, nah, more filling, less energy. Put in here, you can start cooking your meal. And it'll actually, as you can see, the stars on energy and filling is actually increasing. So warm and hot, and it should, I don't know if it'll go any further than that, maybe cooked, or if it'll just say hot, very hot. And I think you can burn it, so I don't want to overcook it. But um, as you can see, hot meals last longer. It will cool down, but if you eat it, there we go, and you do eat the bowl, it will go up higher than that. So some things to note about these, I'm just gonna keep the extra meal here. But um, actually, you know what? I wanna try something. I'm gonna put that in there. Do I have an empty one anywhere? Nope. Nope. I guess I don't have an empty one. But, um... I wonder if putting it in one of these ceramic vessels will keep it hot. If it can even go in there to begin with. So here... So it can go in there. So... We got hot meal start cooking you, put you in here, and let's just see if it stays hot. Because we know if you put uh, ingots in there, and they're hot still, they'll actually go there as well. Warm. Come on, you can go to the hot, hot, you can do it. I believe in you, meal. I believe in you like no one has ever believed in a meal before. But uh, let's go ahead and go over what the aspects are. First off, you have the effects. Sometimes they have effects, sometimes they don't. So if I eat this, it's kind of like having drink in a speed potion. Um, the energy is how, um, I think how sustained it is. So if it has a high energy content, you won't get hungry as fast. Um, power, I can't remember if that if affects your strength or not, so there you go, now it's nice and hot. So um, I think power affects your strength. So if you have high power, then there we go, I'll just keep the two meals there, and I can burn off. Um, high power, that just means that while you're eating it, you will get a strength bonus, I think. And then the other, the last part about it, um, the fulfilling is actually how much of your hunger bar goes up. So this has a filling of three stars, and this one has a filling of six stars and five stars. This one has a high energy count, so that means that it will, your energy, your hunger bar won't go down as quickly, where this only has a two bar energy, so this one, your your hunger will go down about as quickly as it was normally. Another thing, um, Dark Wolf Studio suggested that I try something to make two blades at once. Doesn't seem to want to work. So let's see. Maybe I, oh, I think I cut it too quickly. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah, I just cut it too deep. So um, because you have enough room, if you do a T pattern, you get two stone blades instead of one stone blade. So uh, that's a nice little hint I didn't know about because the wiki didn't actually say that. So that's really cool. Or maybe it did and I just never noticed. Oh, shoot, you know what? We need to uh, heat up some torches. completely forgot about that because so we're about out so I'm gonna go ahead and cook those and I'll be back in a sec oh it looks like you don't eat the bowl it went over here I just didn't notice it so I'm gonna put the bowl back in there and I cooked up a whole stack of uh, torches and left the rest over here and I'm gonna quickly look on oh we got some more trees nice nice um, so this is still cooking 
Um, I could probably check it if I want to. Let's see. Yep, still cooking. Um, hopefully that doesn't reset the timer when I do that. I don't think it does. Um, it's supposed to have smoke effects pop up, but it's not. So that's the only reason why I was checking to make sure it really was working. But um, I think it's time I start looking for a place to build an actual house. That's definitely not a good house right there. It's a good temporary house. But I think I need an actual house. So I'm going to look around once it becomes daytime, which is almost is. And uh, I'll be back once I find a suitable location. That is cool looking. All right. So I think I found a place that I'll call home. It's next to water, which is always a plus. If you're starting off, you want to have water nearby. Now, I want you guys to be aware, this is going to be my starting home. I actually plan to build a real home later uh, in the Let's Play too. But um, I need to get up a few tiers in the metal department and all that stuff before I actually uh, start work on that house. But until then, I think this would be a good starting home here. Um, it has a few things that I personally am looking for in a house. Um, it's going to have a front door probably here towards the copper mine and all that. Most of this I think I'll clear out or level um, so that I can make a farm. Um, maybe an animal pen right over here I think would be a good idea. So kind of uh, cut this out and make it into more of a canal, or not a canal, like a grove. Like, see, this can kind of be dropped down one all the way across here. And then I'll terraform the land to make a, a kind of a curve, a bit bigger curve, and then uh, some fences inside there so the animals can't escape. Uh, maybe I'll put, even put the fences actually not even in there, but actually on top of there so they can kind of climb up and down the hill and get some food and have a good amount of area. And that would be for like, you know, maybe one animal or two different animals and it'll split, be split in half. You know, I have some ideas for it. I think it'll, it'll look good. Um, and it's also right next to my copper. It's literally right across the hill. So this will be a very good home starting area. So let me go ahead and clear out this section. And um, I'll be back after terraforming the land a bit. Um, I probably won't be able to start building on it. So this is when I turn on magnet mode. It's just annoying having to like hunt all this little tiny bits. Oh, I get a free bone, sweet. Skeleton must have died. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Alrighty then, so I cleared out the area that I want to um, use. So I'm thinking this is where my house will be. And like I said, it's a starting house. This whole area back here will probably be moved back just a bit, just because that's going to be the entrance of one side of the house. And this will be the entrance of the other side of the house. Now. There's a few things that I want to do for my house. Let's go ahead and create, oops, it's wrong direction. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and create the door frame. I think I want to make it out of this uh, lighter wood. It's kind of a nice one. And then, let's see. Let's go ahead and remove this. I'm going to use these, I think, as my blocks for building. Just because I can uh, do that and remove them relatively easily. I wonder if this is nope, not faster. All right, so there's my door frame, and I actually am going to oh, <laughs> not going to do that. I am going to have thatch beef the walls, which is why I have so much thatch um, in here as well as in here because I'm going to be using it as my. Uh, walls and sides um, and then use wood as my frame so let me go ahead and get the front of this built it's almost almost becoming nighttime as well so I'm gonna wait until it becomes day I'll build the front of this so you can see what the design is gonna be like and I'm gonna do it in segments so you guys don't get bored watching me build this 
Um, I also found some tetrahedrite. There we go. Found another thing of tetrahedrite here and another one here. Ooh, so a lot of tetrahedrite here. So um, this might be a good... Uh, hit the C key. There we go. Might... Uh, want to m make a mine there which is going to be nice because i'm going to have copper tetrahedrite over there and another tetrahedrite here so a good amount of copper right off the bat that's really good so anyways um i'll see you guys in a few and i do know it's 15 minutes but this is going to be a little bit longer than a 15 minute episode maybe 20 minutes but see you guys in a bit Alrighty then so all you have to do is build two then three then four go three across and then repeat the pattern this way. And you can build it any way you want. You can make these all logs. You can even make this logs. You can make the whole thing thatch if you want. But I like this pattern. Then uh, you just build it as long as you want to. I built it 13 long. And I'm building it with thatch going along the sides here. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Get some more. Um, so go 13 across. And then here, do the same thing. So you go 2. And um, <clears throat> yeah, grab some more. Okay, that's just getting my way now. Grab that, and maybe even this, and boom. So then you build this. Now, um, if you want like a center support struct or support beam, what you could do is let's say you're doing a thatch building like me. What you do is you can build, you know, two. And then you build your third one here. So two, three, so there'll be a log here. Four, there'll be a log here. And then a beam right here, so supporting the log across. But because I am building another doorway here, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm just gonna have it so that it's, you know, two. Then let's build this uh, log like so. And then we'll have the other log be pretty much hop up there. Uh, one, two, three. And then we'll have the other one be like so. So let's break this. That. And then we'll have the two thatches here. And then the two supporting structures there. I need one more hickory log to complete that. And I have a hickory log somewhere. Else I'll just cut it from a tree. And then. For the door frame, I think just to keep the look the same, I'll use the same exact door frame design, which is going to be white cedar going here and here, there and there, and then there, there. And then I guess I need one more white cedar too. Um, and then, you know, build this all the way across. And that is a very basic house. Now, I'm even going to be clearing out the lowest level here. And, uh, that way, when you're actually outside, it's going to be this height. But when you're inside, it's actually going to be one taller. As you can see, that's going to be much taller than if I didn't do it. So um, I'll be clearing out this, replacing the floor with something, replacing the edging with something um, for decorative purposes and all that. It's kind of similar to the design that I did in my Better Than Wool series, but much larger, and I'm actually going to expand on this one. I already had the expansion planned out, and I have some very good ideas for this um, design, so I think it'll be nice. Now, uh, to end off the episode, I have two things that I want to do. First off, I want to show you the charcoal, or yeah, the charcoal pit, the coal pit that we made. Um, let's go ahead and get over here. As you can see, it actually caved in, and some of it was exto exposed. I put some dirt on it uh, just in case. But as you can see, it caved in here. So I'm going to remove the dirt like so. And that, and that, and that. So these are going to be charcoal. And as you can see, it's random piles. Even though I filled up the whole things around the edges with full stacks of logs, the center one I didn't, of course. But all around the edge was full stacks. They still kind of have a random amount of how much it'll actually give you. And then all you do is just take a shovel. You can't do it with your hands or anything. Take a shovel and you can break the layer and it pops off one charcoal. And it has that kind of new Minecraft version of snow mechanics where it does it by layer. So when I'm breaking this, you'll see it goes layer by layer down. 
and starts breaking it. So let's go ahead and break it all the way to the floor. And you can see just how much one stack. There we go. So I got 14. Now you can see why I put uh, cobblestone at the bottom. Uh, so I didn't accidentally keep breaking it. So 14. And you can break this across. And we'll get more. So this is how you make charcoal in the game. No longer do you put a log in the furnace and uh, burn it up into charcoal. Now, um, because this is the ninth episode of the Let's Play, I'm going to ask you guys if you want to continue this Let's Play series. If you do, hit the like button. I want to see 10 likes on this series for this series to continue. So hit that like button, have your friends hit the like button, have your great-great-grandmother's niece's nephew hit the like button if you want. But either way, I need 10 episodes within the next 24 hours or by the time the next episode airs, which is going to be episode 10. On episode 10, I'll announce if we continue the series or if we start a new series. And personally, I'm hoping we continue the series. I'm having a lot of fun and there is so much to this mod that I've yet to show you. So definitely help me help you help pizza continue this episode of epic cupcakes and so on and so forth and blah 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 <laughs> anyways as always stay epic this is deviant gamer signing off adios